ago, we uploaded a video just ranting about how storage auction business is changing very badly right now. But I think I saw the shadiest and weirdest thing I've ever seen on an online storage auction ever. Like, ever. This has been like, what, two years we've been doing this, and I think this is the weirdest thing ever. Check this out. So one thing I like to do for fun is just kind of go to storage treasures and look at the most expensive units across the country just to see, you know, maybe one day I make that weird miraculous trip to Kansas or some random state that has a crazy looking unit. And I happened to come across a unit that was selling for $18,000. Okay, that, first off, is ridiculous. Second off, when I looked at the pictures, I was like, okay, first of all, we have a massive gambler here. The picture shows nothing but a car under a tarp and a pile of wood next to the car. So I'm like, okay, we have a massive gambler. That could be a car frame. That could be a cheap piece of crap that looks nice from the outside. That could be, you know, it could have no internals. It could literally just be a frame under a tarp. You have no idea. Somebody's willing to gamble 20,000. Cause remember when you buy online, you're paying the price you bid, you're paying the sales tech and you're paying a 10% buyer's premium. Actually 15% if you're not a member of the website. So 15% may not sound like a lot until you're spending $18,000 and 15% is like three grand, over three grand. So in total, this person is willing to bid over $20,000 on this storage unit. And the part that really blows my mind, it's not like this information is hidden, if you just look at the description where it says what's in the unit, in all capital letters, right there, right on the screen, right where you bid, it's not like you could have missed this. It says, the car is not for sale. Somebody please explain to me why whoever out there is willing to spend over $20,000 on a unit that contains nothing but a car and some wood and the car is not included in the sale. That <laughs> makes no sense at all. Again, I get some people may miss, there's no way to miss this. Like I know on Facebook I get irritated all the time because we get trying to sell stuff and we get people that ask us questions that are clearly answered in the description, but that takes a whole extra click. I know that can throw some people off and confuse the crap out of them. A whole click, whoa, that could be confusing. This doesn't even require that extra click. It's right there, and they even put it in all capital letters. There's absolutely no physical way they missed this. Now this auction did end up getting canceled last minute, and if you've ever bid on an online unit, you know the last hour is where 90% of that bid price usually happens, so if it was at $18,000 now, can you imagine how high that would have gone if it didn't get canceled last minute. Now the fact that it did get canceled does lead me to believe that it's probably a super nice car under there. And if you're a car person, you probably have a better idea than me. I don't know what that is. You could probably say that's a 19 whatever Corvette or something. That's not me. But still, it could have just been the frame, but 20 some thousand dollars somebody would have paid if they didn't get canceled if this did not get canceled somebody would have ended up probably paying over twenty thousand dollars for some pieces of wood and that is just an all-time like stupid high as far as these online storage auctions go i don't think i've ever seen anything that ignorant before if you've seen anything dumber than that please let me know in the comments because it's really scary to think something that dumb actually exists. A lot of you guys have been asking about our old flea market videos down in the comments now. Of course, when we leave California, I have no idea how it's gonna be, but I honestly thought that when we came back, the flea market was closed because of the whole COVID thing. They are supposed to be implementing some second shutdown. I don't know. They're doing something weird, but apparently it's still open. This is all the stuff from, I don't even know how many units ago. It's like, a couple months it's ago. an array of different units. A couple months ago, yeah, recently. So we definitely plan on getting rid of this stuff. We had to clear this whole house out in less than what? Two months, like two yeah. months or so. So definitely going to the flea market again, probably next week with this stuff over here and this stuff right here. And you know, we could probably even make a hundred dollars off our trash pile over there, really. Don't you just love seeing huge piles of trash? Because you know, that's how we sort. We sort our units in here in the garage and then we just throw it over there and we're like, next unit we're gonna go to the dump. Next unit we're gonna go to the dump. Next unit we're gonna go to the dump. And then we have a pile of trash that takes up half the garage because nobody ever feels like going to the dump. You resellers know what I mean. But before we go any further, I wanna show you something. This was not out of a storage unit, but this is freaking epic and it's gonna be worth a lot of money. And I'm gonna tell you what we paid for it, but not until after I show you because when I tell you, you're probably not gonna believe it. I wanted you to guess how much money we're gonna make off this. Check this out. All right, so we are gonna be going back to our live auctions this Saturday. Again, a lot of you guys have been requesting it, saying you missed it. We were out of town, couldn't really do it. But now that we're back, now that we're uploading consistently again, 
we are going to be doing a live auction this Saturday, and a large majority of that auction is going to be made up of some of this stuff on the table. So some of this stuff you've seen already. You saw the pile of jewelry we got from a thrift store, the weird spoon collection, these rocks, like those gem type rocks and stuff that came out of a storage unit, like I think before we left. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know either, but came out a while ago. But the crazy thing in here, I want you to start looking at some of these collectible toys and cars we have. Check this out. Wiley Coyote NASCAR, Tasmanian Devil NASCAR, Sylvester and Tweety NASCAR, Daffy Duck NASCAR, Bugs Bunny NASCAR, Yosemite Sam NASCAR. Guys, give him back his weapon. Stop trying to disarm Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd. It's messed up. Um, what is this one? Pit Crew. Just a Hot Wheels Pit Crew racing car. NASCAR. That, oh, what's his name? The Red Monster. The that looks like, Huh? The... God, I don't remember. I can't remember his name. Somebody help me with that. I love that guy too. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember either. Who's he chasing? I can't tell. Is it Bugs? But no, it's Tasmanian Devil actually. I feel right. like I don't associate them together. <laughs> that, Superman, Spider-Man, NASCARs again. All in plastic, all in really good shape. This is um, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I'm just saying this because the labels, I don't ever watch this in my life, so I don't really know. Another one, another one. These cars are not actually a plastic, but they're in these super nice protective cases. So check that out, let me move these. See the ones in the back. Ooh, super nice, right? Now we have all these over here are just decks and decks of cards from NASCAR as well. As you can see, there's a little bit of a theme here, NASCAR. Mm -hmm. And check out this set of pins right here. Look at that, this is actually a Daytona International Speedway, it's a set, right? Yeah. So every time we've had pins, they've done very, very well. So we got that too. And then we have, these are just like bumper stickers and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I tried my best to separate this stuff, but yeah. for the most part, they, these are all stickers. These are all like ticket stubs. Um, these are all like actual pictures that were taken of like a raceway. Uh, there might be more drag racing than NASCAR. 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 <laughs> but it's, it's still racing. We have some signs here. Pens oil, and then here's two license plates. What do you hear instantly when you see this? They're, They're great! In that voice, <laughs> right? Yeah, and then this is more just miscellaneous pictures or pictures of just the street driver. So look at some of these real quick. I'm just gonna kind of fly through them. He's got some stickers here, stickers there, more stickers, pens oil, <laughs> number eight. And look, this whole little thing here, all stickers, different NASCAR stickers. And over here, looks like ticket stubs. As you can see, some of them definitely look a lot older. I don't know if they're all NASCAR. I think they're just racing in general. Yeah. But some of them are definitely older. And if we take these signs up, Again, you look under here, inaugural race or night race. It's got the ticket with it, with the magazine. It's probably like the program they handed out at the event. Over here, just a bunch of quick pictures. Look at that. Different races again. I'm not gonna go through all of them. If you wanna bid on this stuff or get this stuff, just come to our live auction this Saturday. You'll be able to see it all in detail. We show it all piece by piece. Those, then over here. They'll like be in better said, piles by then too. Yeah. This is just kind of our quick go through, like, ooh, this stuff is nice. I'm not even a NASCAR fan or watcher ever in my life, but it's nice stuff. These are just a lot of the pictures and stuff. This looks like the stuff, if it's like anything to do, like, I go to a lot of UFC events and they hand out this kind of stuff at the actual event, so that's what that could have been. Is that Kane? I saw WWF. <laughs> that looks like vintage Kane back in the day. It is, it's on the car, look. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. The big red machine. <laughs> I did used to watch wrestling when I was little now. But just a whole lot of pictures and a whole lot of stuff. The crazy part of all this is, how much would you guess we would have paid for all this stuff? I just want you guys to guess before I give it away down in the comments and then I'll tell you the truth. We paid a grand total of zero dollars for all of this. Because one of our awesome subscribers sent this all to us just for us to be able to auction off and sell. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. We got all that ridiculously cool NASCAR memorabilia absolutely free. And I want you guys to take a guess now. I think it's gonna fetch a good, decent price. I know a lot of people that watch our videos are fans of NASCAR because of the stuff we found in the past. So if you're a fan, let us know what you think this stuff's gonna go for. And if you're not, 
Thank you, guess too. I just like reading people's guesses. I like hearing other people's perspectives. But anyway, guys, we didn't really have nothing going on today. Planned on winning a unit and lost it last minute, so what can you do? Figure we at least make a video of something. So make sure you leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.